Well, welcome back. Today we have this all-in-one French nail extension kit from To Be Glam. Now, I've never worked with their products before, but I have seen them on other people's channels, so I am really excited to go ahead and jump in and see what is in this box. So, let's go. Okay, so they reached out to me to see if I want to try some of their poly gels, so they sent me their all-in-one French extension kit. And let me tell you, they must have stuffed so much stuff in this box, it's not even funny. So first we get this cute little card, and it basically just has all of the instructions, and what comes in the package, and whatnot. And they have become sort of viral for this French nail hack that they do. So you get two sets of tips. One is coffin and the other one is stiletto. They look like a medium size. I wouldn't necessarily call that long. And then you get a beauty blender. And you're probably asking yourself, why the hell are they giving you a beauty blender? But they do a sort of like the jelly stamper hack, but they do it with a beauty blender. So we're going to try that out today as well as their poly gel. So you get two types of pink. You get love it and classic, which this looks more like a nudie pink. And this is more like your classic pink pink. And then in here, we get our base coat, top coat, and probably a matte. Oh no, this is our white. This is our white gel polish, okay? We get a little picker tool for these jewels right here. And they also give you one of these lamps, which is quite nice for them. Because this is a lot, in my opinion, I prefer these lamps over like the little ones. Because this way you can at least like put four fingers inside. Can't cure your whole hand. You still do have to do your thumb separately. But I have quite the collection of these lamps. <laughs> So we'll see. Maybe I'll use this today. Maybe not. Just depends. And then, of course, you get a file and your poly gel tool. <laughs> so it comes with your brush on one end and the spatula on the other side. I have to say, I really like the packaging. I thought it was quite pretty and I love the pink color of everything. I'm not a big like pink girl, but this isn't like wham, like, you know, in your face pink. It's like a soft pink and everything is matte, which I think is really, really pretty. So if you have never heard of the lazy girl method or the Femi Beauty method, that is essentially what they are telling you to do with this kit. So you basically fill the well of your nail with the poly gel and then you attach it to your nail. I have never done this before, so this is the first time I'll be trying out this method on my channel. So I'm really excited to see how that works. So yeah, let's go ahead and get cleaned up and I'll get started. Okay, so I went ahead and picked up my sizes. I went ahead with the stiletto. I do need to do a little bit of filing. I do have just a like a builder gel on my nails with like a glitter top coat over the top. So I just need to file a bit so that they fit. So pretty much I just go lightly filing around the cuticle area. These were a little square, so much better, much, much better. Try to get this little piece, you know, sometimes that like comes when you're filing. All right, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna file the insides of the nails and I think that's pretty much all I have to do before we get started, so. Let's keep going. Okay, so I've got the tips all set up like this because I figured that would be the easiest way to like get the poly gel inside of them. <laughs> and I just want to check out the two colors to see which one I want to use. So, all right, so this is more of like an orangey pink, different than what I thought it was going to be, that's for sure. I also have like some glitter and stuff like that off to the side for now. I just want to do one nail like full. Ooh. I think I'm just gonna go with like the classic, okay? I'm gonna start with the thumb and I'm just gonna do that all in poly gel. I'm gonna put a little bit of primer down. They didn't say to do this. I accidentally started buffing inside because I'm so used to that and then I read the instructions and they didn't say to do that. So I didn't buff the rest of them, but I am gonna just put some primer inside of here just so that, I don't know, the poly gel sticks. I feel like if you don't put anything down then the tip's gonna separate. So I just feel like I need to put something in there. And then let's get our brush ready. And I need a dampened dish. All right, so I just got some alcohol. 
over here and I guess I'm just gonna squirt this inside of the nail. That's the way I've seen it done. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't want too much because I, the reason why I've never tried this disclaimer is because I don't like that feeling of product touching me like underneath the nail. So I don't know. I'm just a little, uh, I hope it doesn't feel gross under there. I know that I can always file it, but you know. Also, I'm still a little sick, so I'm really sorry for the nasally voice. I'm sure it's annoying, but uh, I'm only doing what I can do. <laughs> I can't help it, right? Okay, so I'm just sort of patting this in to the tip. Like it said, you don't want too much back here by the cuticle because then it's going to be too thick and I don't want that. I guess this would be kind of a good way at like not really using a lot of product because you really don't need a lot in here. Just enough to basically cover the nail on the outside so you get like nice coverage, but it's not like you don't need to build an apex because the nail is already doing that for you. So it's kind of interesting. Okay, I just want to make sure that I get it from like sidewall to sidewall. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this method before down below. Again, this is my first time. Just hoping it looks nice. I guess, I mean, I could always touch it up on the other side, but just judging from this, it looks okay. I just need a little bit more over here. All right. I will say this poly gel is not very sticky because I didn't really have to dip back in there. I just want to smooth it out now. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just kind of really smoothing the underside. And then I'm going to pop this off of here and I'm going to stick it on my nail. So... I just have a little sticky tack on the stand here. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So I didn't file my nails because I'm hoping that these will just kind of pop off after a couple days. So I'm pressing it down, but I'm not like squishing it down, if that makes sense. I just feel like the coverage is not there. All right, I just want to go and clean up the edges. I just want to make sure nothing is like squirting out over here. Everything looks good. All right. I think that looks good. <laughs> I do like the color. It's not as pink as I was expecting. And I'm going for more of like a Christmassy nail. All right. Let's go ahead. I feel like it just keeps lifting up, which is not what I want. All right. I'm going to use my little lamp, my gooseneck lamp over here off the screen. I just don't want to cure any of this poly gel. So I'll just move it right here for now. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of hold it down because there's a little air bubble over here in the corner that I just want to uh, cure in place. All right. Very nice. Okay. Looks good. I'm going to stick it. I just wanted to get that little spot like cured into place. And then I'm just going to put it in my full lamp and I'll be back. Okay. So this is how my thumb... This is how my thumb turned out. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the rest of the nails except my ring finger like this. I kind of want to do an accent nail. So with some Christmas stuff, but we'll see how that turns out. I might just do the French nails and call it a day. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and finish these off. Oh, I forgot to mention too. There's like not a lot going on underneath here. So I'm really happy with that. Really happy with that. Okay, so. All the nails are on. I did a little bit of filing and shaping. I buffed the top of them and I just added some base coat to my thumb. So now here is the hack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some of their white gel polish. If I can get this opened, oh my God. <laughs> Again, don't use your mouth to open things. I just have a habit of doing it. All right, gonna add a little bit of their white gel polish on to the beauty blender. I just have some saran wrap like tightly wrapped around this thing. I'm gonna put it right here. Now, since these are stiletto, I think I'm gonna go like from the side and do this. So wish me luck. And then I've got some white glitter that I wanna actually pour on top of here when I'm done. So I'm gonna get that ready. I'm just gonna put it in here and then I'm gonna use my cuticle pusher to kind of like pour it over the nail. All right, so here we go. I don't think if I went like head on. I, I'm going to try it, but I don't think it would work. Let's just see. Yeah, that's not going to work. And I just popped the saran wrap. So let's just try going from the side. All right. Let's try it. 
Okay, 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 okay. All right, not too bad, not too shabby. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's okay. Like, I don't know about this, guys. Let me clean this up over here. I don't know. It's not quite perfect. Let's try that again. Let's load my beauty blender up with some more white polish. And let's see. I'm trying not to put it on like a wrinkle area, but I don't think it really matters to be honest with you. So let's load this puppy up with some more gel polish. And so let's go to the side. I'm gonna try not to like dip it in too far this time. Okay, nice. It's like, I can do it on one side, but then when I'm trying to see, I mean, that's, it's not terrible, but honestly, I think I could just, like, do this myself, if I'm being quite honest with you. Like, it's not easy. It's getting all over my finger. Eh, I think this is a total fail. I watched someone else try to do this too, and they just couldn't get the hang of it, and I think... I'm gonna have to pop their video up above, but even in the instructions, it's more for like that straight across line, which I'm not necessarily into. So I think I'm just gonna paint this stuff on my fingers and call it a day. <laughs> I just think it's so much easier to do that than to try to use a beauty blender. It's just not, it's not for me. Maybe it's for you. It's not for me, okay? <laughs> so I am just gonna paint this white polish on. So I just need my palette. I'll be right back. So let's just make this easier on ourselves. And I'm gonna put a little white polish down on this palette here so that we can draw the French on our thumbs. I'm gonna do a French on my thumb, my index, and my pinky. And then these, I'm just gonna do like some stars. So let's load up my brush with some white polish. And essentially, I want to go about here. My hand is shaking so bad because this is my left hand, but put all my trust in my liner brush. Here we go. Wow. You guys see that shake? Whew. It takes a special kind of person to be able to shake like that. <laughs> but I'm trying to pr trust the liner brush. Trying to get it to basically do all the work for me. And I don't have to do much of anything. So, I'm going to curve over here. The fact that you guys basically just sit here and watch me horribly paint my nails just makes me feel so happy. So, thank you. <laughs> I do want a little bit of, like, something going on so that I could put some of this glitter on there. So I want to make it a little bit thicker, just so that I can put this sort of snowy looking glitter onto the nail. So I do like deep French lines, but I want a little bit of like a smile line here, just so that, like I said, I can get some of this glitter to stick. I just need a little bit more polish. Okay, there we go. All right, just trying to get this as nice as I can. I know it's gonna be covered with glitter, but still it needs to be even and whatnot. So I'm just gonna try to perfect this and then we'll be back to add some glitter. Okay, looks pretty good, right? So now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna dump some glitter on top of it. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Okay. I might try to pack a little bit more onto there, but 
I am just going to cure her up and then I'm going to do the rest to the other two nails. So very cute. All right, let me cure this one and then I'm just going to show you the other two. Here she is in all of her glory and she is stunning. So I'm just going to brush off the excess glitter very gently. And I almost want to do this to like the rest of my nails because it's so pretty, but I'm just going to do it to the other two. All right. Maybe I'll do like a white line. Ooh, that's what I should do. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ideas are, they're just the wheels are spinning. All right. So I'm going to do this to the index finger. Uh-oh, there I got some polish on your tablet. Let me just wipe that off real quick. Whoop. That's what I use as my viewfinder. <laughs> okay, I am going to do my index finger exactly the same. I did two coats of white, so that way wherever the glitter wasn't, there was still white peeking through. So, I am kind of obsessed with this. And I would just love all my nails to be covered in this. But we still got to have some other, like, aspects of winter, right? Okay. Okay, so this is what I have so far. We've got the French and then I just drew a little swirly. So I'm going to draw another swirl on the ring finger and you guys are going to follow along if you would like. <laughs> I mean, just watch. <laughs> you don't have to follow along. Essentially, it is the same concept. I draw a swirl and then I cover it in glitter. I don't know if I'm going for the same kind of swirl. Probably because it looks cute. So I'll probably just do the same thing to be honest with you. that looks good I and mean, honestly anything covered in this glitter looks good to be honest with you it's so pretty alrighty so I'm probably gonna do one more coat of white and then I'll add the glitter to that which again I'm just dumping the glitter on top of it and then I'm gonna I don't know I'm, I need to look at some stickers to see what I want to do next all right okay <clears throat> hopefully this is focused because this is what we're looking at so far i put a little bit more silver in that mix just to make it sparkle just a bit more that white glitter mix was weird it's not really glitter it's more like like particles i don't even know how to explain what it is but it kind of just like sunk into the polish so i mixed in a little bit more silver and kind of did it like twice so this is what we have so far now I'm just gonna add a couple little stones on here nothing crazy I don't know why I poured out so much from the bag that they gave us so I just have like a little bit of glue over here I'm gonna dip into that first and then I'm gonna dip it and just kind of place it on the back of my fingernail right here and then I'll pick up a stone and put it right there I might do a couple just do like I'm gonna do like two over here going this way and then a couple going down like this just like a really simple easy gem design if you will uh, i might add a few more in here Okay, I just want to start off by saying I am 
totally impressed with this kit. It is a super affordable kit, and this is the look that I was able to get out of this little kit. It's so cute, so precious. I mean, I want to double check the price, but if I'm not mistaken, it was like $11.99 when they sent it to me on sale. But even the regular price was still like very inexpensive for a poly gel kit that comes with basically everything that you need. What poly gel kits do you know that comes with tips? I don't think I know any poly gel kit that comes with that. So I was very impressed that they supplied the tips with you in the kit and you get this lamp that honestly these lamps are great for traveling like I have a few of them and like if I'm going downstairs and I just want to watch tv and you know work I don't always do manicures that are on my channel sometimes I'm doing my nails for a wedding or something like that and I'll bring one of these little lamps downstairs so even though I didn't use it in the video today it's still nice to have them like on hand as far as the hack I'm not a believer I think it was kind of gimmicky but that doesn't say anything about the products that they gave me today I thought the products were great their top coat is like super super shiny and the one thing I will say about doing like the lazy girl method or the femi beauty method whichever one you want to call it I gotta give credit to her because she's the one that created this method is that when you have the tip over the top you kind of always have like a shiny layer so it's just nice to have that and you don't have to do like I, I didn't have to do any shaping or filing. I just kind of cleaned up my cuticle and like that was it, guys. So I am so in love with this kit. So the price right now on their website is $30.99, but it is on sale on Amazon right now for $19.99. I know that a bunch of websites are doing like Black Friday sales. So I am certain that you could probably find this on sale on their website soon. I swear I saw it somewhere for $11.99 and it's driving me crazy. So I don't know. Just know I told you what the prices are right now on there, but their prices are always subject to change. So it's like hard to give you guys a price, especially right now during like the holidays and stuff. But overall, I really enjoyed this and I thought it was a, such a great little kit to purchase. It's an all-in-one like starter poly gel kit. And that's exactly what it is. I did want to say, if you notice on my pinky <laughs> that it's a different color than the rest of the nails, that's because I used Love It on here by accident. But I feel like you could get a really nice ombre with the two of these colors. Like they would go well together. So here's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video once again. Before you leave, there are about 90% of you guys that are watching these videos that have not subscribed to my channel yet. I am so close to 3,000 and my goal is really to get to 5,000. That was my goal for the end of the year, but I don't think I'm going to make it, but I'm still like trying to get to 5,000 right now. So before you leave, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell notification button so you never miss a Manny with me. Bye guys.